This is the solution to written homework 49. Okay, so we're asked <coughs> to compute the partials of t. Okay, so then the t partial t u. Well, that would be the t partial. the first term plus the t partial of the uh, second term so exponential 3t plus 2 uh, u and then the t partial of that okay well 4u cubed is a constant so this would be 4u cubed is a constant hanging out front and then derivative of natural log is 1 over its argument, so 1 over t squared plus 1, and then multiplied by now the t partial of t squared plus 1. <coughs> and then plus the derivative, uh, so in the first place u is a constant, <coughs> so it is not affected by the t partial. Uh, the derivative of the exponential is the exponential itself. And then for the chain rule, we'll need to multiply by the derivative of the argument of the exponential <coughs> times u. So this bit right here is appearing because of the chain rule. And this bit is also appearing because of the chain rule. So the t partial of t squared plus 1 is 2t. So that would be 4u cubed, and then multiplied by 1 over t squared plus 1 multiplied by 2t, and then plus exponential 3t plus 2, and then multiplied by 3, multiplied by u. Okay, now the u partial of the same stuff. So the u partial u cubed natural log t squared plus 1 we want the u partial of that term and then plus exponential 3t plus 2 times u u partial of that well now it's it's the natural log terms part to be uh, that the natural log factors uh, turn to be a constant. It's constant with respect to u, so the only u thing there is the u cubed. So that would be 12 u squared times natural log t squared plus 1. And then plus, well, the exponential thing is a constant, so this is constant times u, so that's exponential 3t plus 2.